Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing an autumn H&M haul and I was so excited about some of the pieces I've actually kept one of them on as I tried them all on before I'm going to talk you through them. As always I'm going to put clips of me like here basically trying on the pieces as I show you them which I've previously tried on. I have been looking forward to this haul all week i have like literally been waiting for the order to come i think you can tell that there's just so many nice like autumnal tones and it just gets me so excited for the autumn winter season i feel like that season is so close now like we're just ending up august it's still like 24 25 degrees in the uk but September is that perfect transitional month. And honestly, I think I found some of the best transitional pieces from H&M that will get you through into autumn. Also guys, before we get into it, I just wanted to flag a couple of things. I will also leave everything linked in the description box down below so you can find everything super easily. And second of all, for reference, I am five, six in height and I am about like an eight to 10 in like, size usually UK so hopefully that gives you some reference before we go into all of the pieces. I start with this top I just think it's fab it's short sleeved and it's not itchy it's super affordable I think it's under 15 pounds and it's basically it tucks really nicely into here it's quite long as well so you don't have to tuck it in I think it just works really nicely with workwear as well or just like great for the weekend with some jeans I really really love this top I have seen so many other brands do pieces like this and honestly they can cost up to like 70 pounds, which I just think is crazy. You may as well buy one like this, and what's even better, they do them in different colors. So as you can see, we've got this gray one here, which I've tried on, and you can see here how I styled it. I really love them, so you can see it probably a little bit better. I just think they're super cute. I did go for the size medium. For reference, I'm normally a size small slash eight, but I tend to size up in a lot of like cardigans and jumpers and stuff, just because I like it. You know to be a little bit more baggy we don't i just don't like tight clothing and that's just who i am so i think you could get away with your normal size in these i think they come up quite um like fitted but if that's the look you're going for um but i've oh, like sized up i think they also do a black one but i thought these two colors were really cute and just great for the office like as a nine to five girly like this is kind of really chic um, outfit and I've also got some heels on so I just think it's just like dresses it up a little bit which is so good so those are the two first pieces I really really love them I'm so happy with them and I'm definitely keeping them next up is a showstopper it is gorgeous now if you've watched my previous H&M haul maybe from a couple of weeks ago I showed you the white mohair jumper and I've actually already got this in cream um, and now white and now I have got it in this gorgeous autumnal red like how stunning is this I absolutely loved pairing it with this satin skirt I think this is like the most effortless chic outfit for autumn winter and I just think this screams no you dropped it there this screams autumn and it's so comfy yes they're like 50 quid but on the grand scheme of things, that's not that expensive compared to other brands. And it's mohair, it's really comfortable. I just I just put like a long sleeve top on underneath it for I sometimes find it like a bit itchy, like I just like that. But you know, it's really gorgeous and it's from the H&M Edition collection, which is always that little bit better than your standard H&M everyday like divided kind of collection. Um, I really, really, really love this jumper. And if you can get your hands on one, I would, because once these sell out, I don't think they usually restock it. Like I think every year they bring them back, but like in different colors and stuff. They never like, yeah, bring it back a couple of months later. Next up are the jackets. So, we have three jackets to go through and now it's that season. So I picked up this gorgeous like chocolatey kind of greyish brown. It's a bit of a weird color actually. It's like a brownie greyish, but I love it. I actually think it's so unique. I haven't seen a color like this before. It's coming up a little bit more gray on the camera than like it's got brownie kind of tones into it. I absolutely love this. I think it's a really well-made trench. It's really um like heavy and comfortable i got a size small and it's super oversized just for reference and i just think it's super chic and i don't think everyone is like gonna have a jacket like this you know in this color a trench coat and i think it just makes you like stand out a little bit which i i love that um i felt really comfortable in it i think you could wear it with so many different colors and it's a really great like transitional 
autumn piece and because it's that really good quality I do actually feel like you can like layer underneath but also you're going to be nice and warm if you don't um so absolutely love that trench coat 10 out of 10 from me the next is this um kind of like felt like jacket and this is why I'm going to call it a transitional jacket because last year H&M did a jacket like this or maybe the past two years they've done one very similar in this style where it kind of flops over the each side but they've been like over a hundred pounds and they're really thick and really heavy this year they've opted for a, like a lighter kind of material version and making it a lot more affordable so i think these are under 30 pounds and they do them in a couple of other colors i think a gray and a black and i just absolutely love this color i think it's just a great great autumnal tan color and i just think it's a great transitional jacket because it's not too warm but i think you can get it through the all like it will get you through the autumn and i think if you size up i think i sized it up in this to a medium what did i do no i stuck with a small so you just get your normal size and you can fit loads of layers on underneath as well just to keep you nice and cozy but i just thought it was a fab piece and i cannot wait to be wearing that and styling that more this autumn the next one is actually such a controversial one for me because i want to love these jackets but every time i try them i don't so for reference, I think it was Abercrombie last year did a lot of jackets with scarves like this, and they were really expensive actually. And this one is so affordable from H&M. It's a black version and it's got some really nice, like just everyday kind of like buttons going down it. Um, and it's got this really heavy scarf and it's like really great and it can attach to the back, which is fab. But I just don't think these kind of jackets suit me. I've tried them so many times and I thought I'd give this one from H&M a go, but I'm just not sure guys. So I think I'm gonna give this one a pass, but I think it's a great option in terms of, it feels really, really nice and it's really cozy and it's got a great scarf and it's like a great all rounder coat. Like if you're going to school or work or whatever it is, I think this is a fab coat in the transitional season as well especially when those mornings get just that little bit cooler and you want a scarf and it's already attached to your jacket like could not be more perfect next up are two pieces that i am obsessed with and will be staying in my wardrobe and i expect all of you to run and not walk because honestly these are insane they are these lululemon dupe workout jacket and leggings and i'll put videos of me trying them on here i am obsessed now i have tried dupes before from tiktok shop and stuff and these do not compare like they in terms of they are so much better so much better they are so comfortable they feel just like literally like butter to your skin also i hate to be this person because i really love what grace beverly has done with tala but i have tried the tala version of this jacket and i hated it it did it was just like not right for me this is actually quite thick and warm i don't know if tala uh, tala's was quite thin i sized up to a medium in the jackets and stuck with my normal size a small for the leggings just because i like to be able to fit layers underneath these like my gym like my sports bra and my like gym top and stuff like that and sometimes i find smalls in these jackets can be just a bit too small um but yeah i absolutely love these they're so affordable i think they're selling out really quickly and hopefully by the time this goes up on saturday it's thursday today they'll still be in stock for you guys but i really really love them and of course i will link everything down below as per usual um absolutely gorgeous gorgeous especially as it gets colder for working out this is going to make you want to go out do your 5k run or go to the gym and then go and enjoy like a nice coffee and a dog walk or something after like that is the vision i have for this they're giving range over on these jackets which i kind of love as well now next up are these jeans now i don't know if i've discussed this with you guys yet but this style of jean like this style of jean the like balloon kind of tapered kind of jean is apparently on trend this season um so i thought i'd give them a go now normally with h&m jeans i have to size up but i took the risk of staying with an eight this time and they absolutely fit perfectly like i did not need to size up in them um i really like them i think i paired them with this gray jumper and stuff and you know what they are really comfortable i put a belt on with them as well some flats i think they're really cute i think they're a great jean they're slightly different to a mum jean even though they look a little bit similar but i really like these so um if you're looking for like an affordable version of these i don't know if they're going to be on trend for that long like if they're going to last through the season so i would definitely choose h&m for that if you wanted to kind of get 
um, in with the trend, but not spend too much. So it would not be a H&M haul without showing you guys some gorgeous pajamas. I showed you guys some pajamas last week and honestly, they've done it again. So I had to show you guys these ones. First of all, I don't think you can go wrong with that, with having like a blue pinstripe set like this in your wardrobe. I just feel like as we go into the like winter months and it gets colder and stuff, it's definitely good to have like a long and long sleeve set of pajamas, um, both top and bottom. I also thought I would try this set, which I hate. I'll put me trying it on here. I just feel like it's so thin. It's just flimsy. It's cheap. It's not great from H&M to be honest. Love the color off me and on me it looked really weird. So I'm not going to keep that, but always good to try things but back to this pair I really liked them I think they're a great staple I actually don't have a pair like this in my wardrobe so I just thought why not add to the little collection I feel like all my pajamas are from H&M now I just find them so affordable and so comfortable and really long lasting so I've never had any trouble with them lasting like I've had most of my pajamas from H&M for quite a few years now and they always come out the wash absolutely fine and stay in really good condition so these are the pajamas Now, finally, we are gonna go through just one more piece and it's this belt, which I've styled across a couple of the videos I've already shown you, but I'll really put them here so you can see. What I love about this belt is the detailing around the buckle. So it goes like this here and it attaches with a little clasp at the back here. And I already have one of these in tan from Under the Stories, which cost me like 25 quid, but this was like, 12 or 13 pounds and i just think it's exactly the same basically so half the price and just as good i stuck with a size small in this just because um well to be honest i actually thought this would come off a bit small because my end of the stories one is a small and it's actually a bit too small it's not small for me but i probably could have done with the size up this is perfect. So stick with your normal size when it comes to this. And I just think it's a really cute little belt to elevate your like wintry outfits. It's kind of giving like Hermes kind of style or like Gucci, but you know, it's 14 99 So why spend your money on that when you can get this? That is it for the H&M haul today. Thank you so much for getting to the end and for watching this video. Please let me know if you buy anything from this haul and let me know what you think of the pieces down below. I know a lot of you have been letting me know in the comments down below and I love speaking with you guys. So please let me know if you do. Um, I am gonna continue with the autumn videos as well next week. So stay tuned for those. I've absolutely loved doing them and I feel like you guys are loving them as well. So stay tuned for some more ones coming very, very soon. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.